It's uh, Kurt Keating with uh, Fluke uh, here at T Equipment again today. We're talking about the launch of two new insulation resistance testers, the Model 1537 and the Model 1535. These are a full feature rich uh, insulation testers, and have the ability of doing just about every type of measurement you'd like to do, do have the ability to store the uh, results, and uh, download the software so you can document what you're testing these days. We're now going to be taking a closer look at the Fluke 1537. With all your key functions being displayed, obviously you have a battery indicator up here. We have the voltage we're actually outputting, the range that we're going to be outputting. And uh, we have an analog and digital display. So for those who grew up using analog insulation tester, we have the ability to show you both at the same time. So we'll, uh, we'll bring it back up to the standard test, uh, which uh, doesn't have any display. And I'm going to hit the test volts button. As you can see, and as I do this, you'll see the ranges change. Our top range is 2,500. We hit this again, we go to 250, 500, 1,000, 2,500. And again, back around to uh, 250 volts. This is volts DC, so this is non-destructive. We're not going to blow anything up. So I'm going to bring this up to 1,000 volts. And off to the right here, you may or may not recognize this device. It's probably the most popular meter we sell in the entire world, called an 87.5. And I have this flipped to uh, volts DC, with it connected to the output side of this insulation tester. And I'm going to start the test. So when I start the test, you'll notice immediately we light up in red. We also start uh, counting out in time. And two things become immediately notable. First off, uh, it is now flashing, telling me this is a live output off the terminals on the top. There's a, uh, the range uh, is 1,000 volts. We're actually outputting 1,046 volts. And uh, I'm going to get both an analog indication as well as a digital readout. And so why did we use a multimeter to connect it to today? Because a multimeter has a 10 megohm input impedance, which means it acts like a 10 megohm resistor. You'll notice while we're uh, counting down, though, it also gave me a bar graph. It's showing me leakage current down here of 105 microamps. That's nothing to be concerned about. And we're going to test this all the way out to 60 seconds. So I'll let this time out. And then at the end of that, we'll stop the test. And when we do stop the test, it's going to give me the opportunity to decide if I want to save it or not. So I'm going to stop it right there. And then up here in the top corner, it starts flashing. It says save with a question mark. It's asking me a question. Do you want to save this result? And in this case, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say yes. I'm going to hit enter. And when I do, what happens in the bottom corner here, it's flashing, there's four digits, is the ability to name this. So, how many test results can we do? We can do 1,300 test results with the device. We do have the ability to download through an opti excuse me, an interface cable on the side. It comes with that USB. It comes with a software package, basically, to be able to uh, create a database of these readings. And the output of that primarily is really going to be an Excel spreadsheet. So, that's a recap of the Fluke 1537, 15... 35 insulation resistance tester. If you have interest in the products, tequipment.net, and we appreciate your time for uh, spending and looking at our products today. Thank you very much.